I was a, I was a singer before I started in the in the corporate world. Uh, actually, my case is very strange because my family was uh, an artist. Uh, an artist. Uh, they were all singers from previous generations with albums and albums released. My mom was an artist in th this company. I was an artist in this company before I, I started here. So um, it was weird. Um, I worked as a singer for 10 years since I was like 10. And uh, then I just got bored <laughs> and I decided I wanted to try some, something different. And I came to my company and I said, guys, I want to try to be behind the the desk and behind the artists and I started and I fell in love with it. Being an artist, uh, if you're sensitive, if you're not strong enough, it's very hard. It's, ve it's very hard, it's a tough business. It's a business in which you're told many times that you're not good enough, that you're, you're not pretty enough, or maybe you are good but the public just d doesn't respond to what you're trying to sell them. It's, it's very difficult and you also need to be very persistent. Um, if you want to be a recording artist, you have to be clear that you won't have a life. That is for sure, if, because you have to work so hard in order to be uh, in the eye of the public and always doing promotion and travels and concerts and things. So. It was like more like a personal thing because my prior my priorities in life were different, so I decided to just step back and fulfill other things in my life that were more important than being on stage. What is my dream? I want to help people because when I was an artist, many people helped me, and I think it's my time to give back, and that's what makes me happy. So when I find like. Artists like Adasa, for example, that I can help in. Or I had a jazz group that wasn't happening anything with them and I sent their album to Indonesia or to Europe and it worked. So it's like very comforting and I, lo I love that. And um, I also am a traveler in my, in my mind. So I love to be out there and, and just being in contact with all the people around the world, the different cultures. I receive lots of material from other countries. So like, it's very interesting. I learn a lot from, from around the, the world. I love it and, and I know I have a long way to go. Many more people to help and many more artists to help develop and grow and, and I'm always eager to, to listen to new things and to receive different influences. It's just my life. And when you, you, you work in this business, it has to be your life. Otherwise, you won't survive. It's tough, very tough and very competitive. And you have to go with everything you have inside you because that's the most important thing. Many people are, are interested in being famous or are interested in being in the covers or are interested in hearing their their songs played in the radio. That's not what is important. What is important is to get your message through. That's it. And if you are honest, it will be a hit. And you also have to be very sure of what you want to do and defend it, everything. I, I want to tell you a story that is very nice I've known Shakira since she's like 10 years old. And when she first started, no one gave a penny for her. No one. But she was sure that she was going to be a star. She was sure. Since she was 10. I remember her. Everybody was laughing at her because she, has, she had this big black hair, she, did, she was a little fat, and she sang like a, like a cow. She, it was nice, it wasn't pretty. But she was so passionate that she made it, and she made it big. Now I see her and I was like, wow. Also Juan is, Juan is, is a big friend of mine since I was a little, little girl. And he did everything that was in his power. From sleeping 
in, in the gates of the record companies with his guitar just to be heard. That's what you need to be successful in this business, heart. The rest, forget it.